Malawi is landlocked and lies between Tanzania, Zambia and Mozambique. And we have grown coffee since the 1880s. There's no coffee grown below 1,000 metres. Some of the coffees are grown up to 1,800 metres. Malawi can offer traceable coffees. The coffee can be traced back to the individual areas, farmers, growers, varietals. Uh, this allows stories to be developed around the coffee. Malawi offers a great cup of coffee and it's an improving cup of coffee. The investment is really in quality and not volume. So you can get multiple products from a single pulpery. It's all 100% Arabica. Most of Malawi coffee is a washed Arabica, but you also get a washed with a soak, washed without a soak, a pulp natural, a natural, a cascara, and all the different processes are available in different varieties. This helps create complexity from one pulpery. But all the producers know each other and we share information. It's very easy to talk directly to the individual growers. And the growers can export directly themselves, organize all the paperwork, and the traceability is clear. Most of the growers also roast themselves for the local market. The 2014 Taste of Harvest, all the coffees entered got a specialty grade. Yeah, I think that reflects the passion that's in the industry at the moment. Everyone's committed to quality and trying to innovate and investing for the future.